Hello again. I was browsing yesterday through the latest figures about how many people have died in Britain and I was struck by something quite extraordinary. The newspapers are still full of COVID-19, the Indian variant, the third wave, all the other things which we expect to see today in the news. The bottom line is that things are so critical that we may not be able to abandon masks and social distancing after all next month. I'm sure that this is very right and proper and need hardly add that I dare say the government is acting for the best. However, I thought that viewers might be interested in knowing what the government's own statistics those issued by the Office for National Statistics, that is, tell us lately. The first thing we see is that for over two months now, during the time that we have seen many alarming headlines in our newspapers, fewer people have been dying in Britain than average every week for the last nine weeks. For the last week, it's about 20% below average. Forget for a moment who is dying of what causes. The truth is, not as many people, as usual, are actually dying. You would think that this is such exciting news that um, the television and the newspapers would be full of it. But they're not. You have to hunt it out. I give a link in the description to this video to the figures which were released yesterday. By any normal standard, the news about death rates in Britain could hardly be better. So why are we feeling so gloomy? And why are the papers still full of um, people agonising over COVID-19? Hmm. I'm not sure, but perhaps it is the fact that pneumonia and influenza are killing quite a few people, which is worrying some of us. But wait, have you seen that in the papers lately? Possibly not. In the course of the last week for which we have data, 129 people died and had COVID mentioned on their death certificates. During that same period, 980 people died and had pneumonia or flu mentioned on their death certificate. That means that pneumonia and influenza are implicated in seven or eight times as many deaths as COVID-19. Hmm. You perhaps were not aware that there is now a deadly epidemic of pneumonia sweeping the country. Of course not. The papers haven't said anything about it, have they? There is a lag in the figures, of course. Uh, in the last few days, no more than half a dozen people have died with COVID being mentioned on the death certificate each day. These very small figures are re reported every day in the news, whereas the deaths involving pneumonia and flu, although very much higher, are not reported. I wonder why that is. I earnestly recommend viewers to download the official figures and go through them. I'm reluctant to say too much on the subject because, of course, the last time I tried to go into this in detail, I was removed from YouTube for a fortnight. Still, since I'm only drawing attention to the government's own figures, which I'm not contradicting for a moment, I don't think that I can be accused of medical misinformation this time. One thing which puzzles me greatly, and that is the chief cause for concern always seems to be changing where um, Covid is concerned. When deaths were falling and people drew attention to this, we were told that the death rate was not the main worry. The chief anxiety seemed to be that the National Health Service and the hospitals might be overwhelmed. There's never been the slightest sign of that, of course. Indeed, the emergency hospitals which were erected have all been dismantled and most were never used for Covid at all. When attention to, is drawn to this, though, the worry suddenly seems to change again and now centres around the so-called R number. As long as this is below one, we're all right. It has been below one for an awfully long time, and so that's been dropped as a concern, and the focus of fear has moved to what are known as variants. Just to sum up, 
The current situation is that since early March, fewer people have been dying in Britain than on average over the last five years. At least seven or eight times as many people are being killed by pneumonia and influenza as are dying of COVID-19. The government announced some time ago that in Britain the pandemic was over and we know that no more than five or six people a day are dying with COVID being mentioned on the death certificates. Despite all this, COVID-19 is still front page news and shows no sign of being treated as any less of a threat than it was a year ago. I find this a bit odd.